Robocop. Part man, part machine, all cop. That's the tagline on the 1987 theatrical movie poster, and reading or hearing that for the first time could lead one to believe that the movie would be a rather goofy, lighthearted, silly affair. But the reality is that Robocop is a nuanced, remarkable piece of filmmaking, one that inspired an eventual franchise of sequels, cartoons, video games, merchandise, and a remake. It truly captured something special on a number of levels. Hey everyone, this is Jan Man, and these are five reasons why Robocop is awesome. Robocop is certainly a revenge film. This is seen through Murphy, a cop trying to do his best in a future in which crime is taking over and winning, and the majority of the police have become cynical, going on strike as the greedy suits in the OCP Corporation attempt to take over. Murphy seems to be the one last pure cop out there. However, after he is beyond violently shot and killed, rebuilt, and then programmed to be Robocop, it's perhaps just as rewarding to see him track down the gang of villains that altered his life forever as it is to reclaim his identity as Murphy over that of a nameless, more robotic crime-busting machine. It's a full circle fulfilling revenge tale of him being left for dead, resurrected, and wrongs against him being righted. The sheer amount of villains in this crime-ridden Detroit setting is a feat in and of itself, but the way they all have their own seedy maliciousness is another altogether. There are maniacal rapists, an automatic gun-toting angry thief, a vengeful murdering gun-wielding politician, a wine-drinking cocaine-dealing leader and his armed gang of distributors, a corrupt shady corporation with the scene-chewing puppet master of badness, Dick Jones, and of course the gleefully violent gang led by the unforgettably sleazy, nihilistic Clarence Boddicker. So many villains, none of which feel like stock characters and instead bring their own unique flair of colorful criminal anarchy. They are villains that are easy to love to hate and makes Murphy's revenge on them all the sweeter. A large part of this movie being successful from the start is if the suit and the actor in it works. Imagine if the movie built to an unveiling of Robocop that induced giggles instead of a wow factor or one that was believable and badass. Not only is Peter Weller's Murphy sympathetic and likable prior to being shot down, but his performance as a machine is equally convincing, from his more robotic speech patterns to his way of turning and walking. There is something to be said also for an actor who can dually elicit multiple emotions both in and out of a suit that prevents seeing one's face with the exception of the mouth area. The suit is also a practical design and remains human enough, albeit with functioning silver robotic arms, legs, and torso with a mask that embodies both his human and robotic traits. It is cool and skirts just the right line between intimidating and benevolent. On the surface, Robocop is a violent revenge blow em up action movie, but where Robocop truly shines just as much is the screenplay written by Edward Neumeyer and Michael Miner. The movie tackles so many themes repeatedly in the most entertaining, even funny ways, which makes Robocop often satirical as much as anything else. For example, it skews capitalism in obvious ways, such as the now quotable, I'd buy that for a dollar line from the comedy show shown throughout the movie, a jab that implies good things come from purchases. Or how the big evil in the film is OCP, a corporation with slimy execs supposedly looking out for people's best interests, but in actuality their own, as evidenced by the cocky Dick Jones and Bob Morton. There's also the knocks on the media and their sensationalizing of violence or just about anything in the news for ratings, whether it's Robocop himself, 
the corrupt mayor getting thrown out the window, making sure they get just the perfect shot of it as it occurs, or advertising games that glorify nuking people. Pakistan is threatening my border! That's it, Buster. No more military aid. <laughs> Nuke them. Get them before they get you. Another quality home game from Butler Brothers. The score was created by the same man responsible for the unforgettable soundtracks and compositions for Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. And here he likewise creates a most effective, memorable score, particularly the main theme for Robocop himself. This theme musically embodies his desire to protect and serve, and his role as a good cop for justice, and as demonstrated in the very last scene of the movie when asked his name, the restoration of his humanity and identity. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. <laughs> 